one of the things you want to remember regarding procedures is always have the kids involved in something. Always. When I worked with schools in Harlem and, and Upper Manhattan in New York City, I vividly recall one teacher who had absolutely nothing for the kids to do. They would sit for at least three minutes. Please write this down embedded in your mind. Dead time is deadly time. It's critical to always have the kids do something. So what you do is you have a sponge activity when they first enter the classroom. And depending upon what subject I taught, I use different activities. So for example, when I taught social studies, history, I would take a cartoon from the daily paper, and at that time I was using an overhead projector, and I put the overlay on top, and I had the kids, number one, I had a few vocabulary words for the kids to learn, and at the same time, they were supposed to figure out what the cartoonist was trying to show. It was a fabulous way of having the kids know what was going on. It's important that you take an objective look at how your classes begin. Sometimes just having a small video camera or a smartphone video or audio to review can help you improve. Create a worksheet and note how long it actually took, and watch how you can shorten the time by making a list of activities that you can create to begin your class. It's amazing. You will find that it takes you longer to start your teaching lesson than you actually thought. When I was teaching English, and this was probably one of the biggest decisions I ever had to make in teaching. It started like this. When I returned to the classroom and I was teaching English, about the fifth week in school, I realized I was not having as much vim and vigor. I was not enjoying myself as much as I did when I first started at the beginning of the semester. So I asked myself, what's the highest priority? What's the most important thing? And of course the answer is when I'm with the kids. The kids have got no idea what I'm doing when I'm not with them. So I said, okay, if that's the case, if I want to keep this energy up, I'm going to have to cut out something. Math teachers don't spend hours correcting papers. Science teachers don't spend hours correcting papers. Why do I? And the reason is the assumption that I have to correct everything that the kids write, which is not valid. How do you learn how to drive a car? Only by driving. How do you learn how to write? Only by writing. The idea that I had to correct everything was a big, as I've mentioned, jump that I had to make. So I did a few things. Number one, when I was teaching English, the very first thing that the kids did is they would write. They could write anything they wanted to. I would not look at them. If they wanted me to read it, fine. Generally, however, it was their diary, if you will. Any kid is willing to write about anything as long as it's personal. I didn't assign something. My objective was for them to learn how to write. That's the first thing I did. Then the second thing I did to cut down my load on correcting papers, I used three before me. That is, before I would read a composition, it had to be seen by one person three times or by three different people one time. So what would happen is I would give the assignment and I would always give them a choice of different writing topics. Then they would write, have one person check it over who would give them some suggestions. Then they would revise it again because all great writers know that the key to successful writing is in the revision. Then they would give it to another person. When, I, when it went through three people, or one other person three times, that's when they made the final composition. The number of hours I spent correcting papers, which diluted my energy, significantly decreased, and the essays I got were fabulous. I was so proud of them. 
Now that you have learned the three before me technique, take a few minutes to reflect on how you will implement this technique in your classroom. Remember, knowledge without action is merely entertainment.